I'm Nicole Eustis. I'd like to acknowledge that I'm speaking tonight from the Napa Hoking, now often called New York, and I'm reading from Covered with Night, a story of murder and indigenous justice in early America. Sawan Taney lingers through the night with his wife, Winnie Piweta, keeping anxious watch. Come morning, she finds that he has breathed his last breath. Alone with his corpse, she flees the cabin, seeking help. It proves to be the last time she will ever see him. For when she returns, she finds his body has been taken, removed, and buried. My friends have killed me, were Sawantini's last recorded words, an utterance that speaks volumes about the social world of the Seneca. Winnie Piweta will remember those final words and do all she can to honor them. That single line says so much about who Sawantini was and what he hoped for, to be a leader who linked Indians and colonists together in friendship. Anglo-Pennsylvanians can scarcely imagine the sort of unified ties that Indians are striving for. Sawantini and his wife, Winnie Piweta, embodied this process, bringing together through their marriage an Iroquoian people, Sawantani Seneca, with an Algonquin one, Winnie Piweta Shawnee. In these difficult days in the Susquehanna Valley, Native nations are shuddering from encroaching stress on all sides, from raids by Native peoples to the North and South, and from in colonial wagons and pathogens rolling in from the East. In times like these, strategies and ceremonies of alliance matter as never before. In sharing their cabin, their lives, and their work, Sawan Taney and Winnie Pueda exemplified how separate peoples could come together to provide for and protect one another. Like a native hamper made of bark and bound with corded twine, native marriages allow husbands and wives to remain members of different nations, yet bring their lives and their peoples together. Wood and fiber combine to form a pack fit to carry many burdens. Thank you.